I can't change my mind if I don't control my thoughts. I can't change my mind if I don't control my thoughts. The first misconception is what we mentioned. Most people excuse the negativity and defeat in their heart because their life has been tough and rough. That is the first excuse. The second excuse is when you begin to believe the truth that you know what yes I am negative yes you know what I am full of negativity I am full of pessimism yes I am full of insecurity yes I I am full of that sin inside of me but usually this is the answer they will follow with but I can't change it and that is actually somewhat true you can't change your mind if you don't control your thoughts to some degree it is true this is what the truth is you can't change your mind because a mind is a mindset that is a result of millions of thoughts thought for decades and that's why it's called mind set different thoughts you allowed in they form your mind set and it took 20 25 27 years to do that and here you heard a message that you need to change your mind so you're going into a building you've built in 25 years and trying to demolish it in five minutes what's going to happen nothing and so you're going to walk out with the same result i can't change it those negative thoughts come faster than flying in that i can fly them out and the moment i kill one they get another one gets resurrected from the dead i cannot change my mind you're right but you can control one thought and the reason why your mind is at where it's at is because you didn't control your thoughts you thought God's supposed to do that I do not like airport security for a few reasons because they always make me remove my belt my shoes and many other things and after a while I learned there's a pre-check the um, TSA pre which is something you pay 90 bucks for for five years and you don't have to remove none of that and you go through a complete completely different lane but no matter whether you have TSA pre or you don't have TSA pre when you come into the land of United States from another country you are going to be met with the border patrol you are going to simply be met with people who will ask you for your passport they will check your passport with their data and they will only let you in if you have a passport or you have a visa now our country is very precious our country is very important but our country is not as vital as your mind that you have inside of your head what would happen if the United States of America would have treated the visitors that come here the way you treat the thoughts that come into your head we would have no America can you imagine every terrorist that has a bazooka can walk in easily without you asking for a passport can you imagine every Al-Qaeda agent walking in with a bomb without you asking for an ID well he's coming he loves the country he must have some good intentions most of us we are like those patrols standing there asleep let any thought that comes in come in and there are guys terrorists walk into our head and we let them come in you come you come and then we look at our life it's going up in flames you're like why didn't God do anything he put you in charge of the thoughts that go in through your head it's not his fault that you let the devil bribe your mind and he let anything he wants to bring into your head he brings into your head my challenge today is fire the gatekeeper put a new guy in charge and teach him the rules to check the papers check the passport check his visa and check make sure every thought that comes into your head lines up with the director's data list the bible and if it doesn't line up you say homie g cracker you gotta go back where you came from but you cannot come into this country can somebody say amen can somebody say amen give your mind the same respect our government gives to this country guard your thoughts 
when something comes into your head especially when something negative happens at work especially when something negative happens and the thoughts oh they come in like little terrorists but they look so good that they bring brownies they bring your favorite coffee and they want to manipulate you so you won't check their documents with the documents in the data you have to be careful you cannot change your mind you're right if you don't change your thoughts you have to be convinced of one thing you can control your thoughts otherwise the bible wouldn't ask us to meditate on god's word day and night otherwise the bible wouldn't ask us in philippians to say think on these things otherwise the bible wouldn't say in joshua 1 8 it wouldn't say to us to meditate on the word of god day and night if thoughts is something that control you you are a mess can you imagine if america would say we cannot control who comes to america they control us ridiculous that's not how this works you are the captain of your ship you are responsible for your thoughts and if you choose whatever thoughts come inside here they will choose whatever mind you will have and whatever mind you will have will determine the kind of life you will enjoy can somebody say amen let's go to number three positive thoughts are not going to stay without assistance negative thoughts are not going to leave without resistance can somebody say amen say positive thoughts will not stay without my assistance negative thoughts will not leave without my resistance so the first method the first myth we overthrew is the fact that the reason why i'm negative is because my life sucks that's not true the second myth that we overcome is the fact i can't control my mind it is true to some degree but you can change your thoughts if you ever start to work on your thoughts and begin to understand the Holy Spirit works by bringing light into my mind means bringing positivity, bringing faith, bringing love, bringing goodness first and you begin to pay attention you will find out this true, this will be so true. You will find out the positive thoughts are not sticking around. They don't like you. It seems like they constantly on the go they come in it's like you came in and you left that and the moment you look aside that thought is gone and the negative thought it's like the person that you have in your life who comes without invitation and will not leave until you show him the door it won't leave without your resistance Jesus made it very clear in Matthew chapter 13 he said I am a sower and I sow the seed the seed is his word you must understand the word is a thought clothed in vocabulary a word is a thought clothed in vocabulary when Jesus is saying I sow my word what he's saying is I am sowing my thoughts what I think about you into into your soil he said and this seed this thoughts some will immediately be taken by the birds some will die on the path some will be uh, will be destroyed by the weeds and all of these things and some will grow from the beginning he made it very clear good thoughts don't stay in the ground automatically they need to be assisted they need to be watered and they need to be nurtured bad thoughts will stay inside of you without any assistance if you think that God is going to take away all the negativity all the insecurity if you think that God is going to remove all of those things that are not good inside of you by coming to a prayer or by praying a simple prayer and you have to do nothing you will be surprised to find God never answering your prayer in that particular matter because thoughts is something you have to also work with with the Holy Spirit you have to work with him can somebody say amen